Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we are back at Blue Springs Trophy Trout Fishing for another Trophy Trout Fishing Adventure. And in today's video we are fishing one of my favorite spots tucked back in the woods. As you guys can see we've got a big beautiful hole right here. Wind blowing across it. It should make for some epic fishing. In today's video I'm going to be starting out throwing around that black creek bug on that 132nd ounce ball head jig. I've got that rigged up on some four pound 100% fluorocarbon line spooled upon to a Fluger President size 30 reel. This is a brand new reel. And I've got that backed by a brand new Fenwick Eagle rod. This is a seven foot medium light action and I can't wait to give it a try out here today. Let's not waste any time. We'll hop down here, do a little bit of fishing, see if we can catch a few fish. All the fish in here are holdovers. They've been in here for quite a while and they should be very active. Let's hop in here. Let's just see what today has to offer. All right, everyone. The creek is very low. Been very little rain here in Virginia recently. Usually this spot right here is super deep and holds almost all the fish. It's very shallow and I don't know if there'll be any fish hanging out in here or not. We may have to go way up into the deepest part of the big hole up there in order to find some fish, but we'll make a few casts in here to start off our adventure. We'll just see if there's any fish hanging out. There we go, fish on. That thing no sooner hit the water. We've got our first fish on right there. Good fish too, everyone. There we go. That fish swam straight to the net. Look how gorgeous, everyone super clean you can tell this fish has been in here for quite the while absolutely gorgeous that bait no sooner hit the water fish number one was on heck yeah let's let her go back strong there she goes check on that creek bug it still looks fantastic I wanted to start off with that black color as it is an ideal color for holdover fish they get very keen to their surroundings and you want to throw something that's very very natural that little bait right there is an awesome starting point if we see those fish are super aggressive we may change up but for now we'll keep throwing it and see if we can get ourselves a few more another good long cast over there i'm going to bounce that creek bug along There we go, another one. Oh, this is a good one. I watched that fish chase it all the way across the hole. Set that drag a little, little looser. This is a super good fish, everyone. Oh, wow. four pound line I don't want to horse these fish especially these larger ones like this one just take our time let it fight this time of year the water is good and cold these fish will go back very well there's no need to horse them into the net these fish have been in here for several weeks so they are very energetic, very active. A 
here we go right into the net she goes another gorgeous blue springs rainbow trout Let's see if we can grab that hook just right there we go check that one out everyone i mean a whopper beautiful colors wow let's let it take off back strong there it goes heck yes everyone too much fun having to cast it quite hard even with this light line got to give it quite the cast into this wind as you guys can see and probably here that wind is blowing just perfectly up this cut right here which should make these fish want to feed as things fall into the water here but we still have to be very careful about how we make each cast there we go another one on There we go. Another beautiful fish, everyone. Oh, there we go. Quick release in the net there. Beautiful hook set, as you can see from that little bit of residual blood there. What a beautiful, clean fish. Let's let him go. Back strong. There he goes. Back in there, happy and healthy, everyone. Heck yeah, there's three fish in a very short amount of time throwing that black creek bug just it lights out little bait especially around those holdovers we're just casting it into the wind popping it back and those fish have to have it heck yes everyone all right guys and girls we have had three bites so far all of which just slam that lure but i'm thinking it might be fun and help our castability to add a float on there so i've got that float with about two foot two and a half foot a liter below it if we're going to bomb it out there see if we can get that bobber down There we go, immediately. There we go. Just waiting for that bobber down and we watch that thing just dredge. Oh, this is another good one, everyone. Super good one. These fish are fighting super hard, everyone. this fish is about ready to come onto the net here there we go that was fantastic nothing like watching that bobber go down especially on this big old trophy sized trout Quick pop loose with that barbless hook and another flawless beautiful blue springs rainbow trout unbelievable Look at those colors. Let's let that big girl slide right on back out of the net. Happy and healthy to join her buddies. Heck yes, everyone. Nothing like a bobber down on a cool fall morning. What more can you ask for? Heck yeah. There we go, another one. Oh yeah. That bobber just slowly went down. 
Not sure if you guys were able to pick that up on the camera. Another beautiful rainbow trout. We can turn this big roll right onto the net. There we go. Another beautiful trout. Wow, another whopper as well. All on that same little creek bug. There we go. Quick pop loose. Another hefty, hefty rainbow. We go. Let's let it go. Back in there, happy and healthy. That creek bug is tattered and torn. We'll check on it there. Looks like it's still hanging on. As you can see, it's all eat up and torn. But those fish are still taking it, so we will continue to throw it. Heck yes, everyone. Let's see if we can get ourselves one more to get that Virginia limit. And everything after that's just going to be an awesome bonus. Oh my goodness, everyone. I can see a couple absolute giant trout over there. Let's see if we can get their attention. Oh yeah, here one comes. Got him. There we go. That's a good one. Wow, that was too cool. Watch that fish come across the hole and just crush it. Try to find a place to land him. Looks like we don't have a whole lot of options in this little section here. It's very muddy. We'll try to slide down and just see if we can get our hands on him. Gotta be very careful. Test the bottom. Oh yeah, should have no problem getting this fish into a net. Wow, what a stud everyone. Slide him across these leaps right into the net. There we go. Another beautiful trout in the net. Heck yes, everyone. Too awesome. We made that move, and I mean, very first cast in that crystal clear water. Spotted that big girl, flipped it over there. She had to have it. Heck yes, everyone. It looked much bigger in that shallow water, but we will take it nonetheless. Let's see if we can get her out of here. With her nose going back out towards the depths. She can return happy and healthy. Heck yes, everyone. I did see a couple more fish up there. So we're going to go on ahead, slide back into position, pop ourselves on a new creek bug, as that one is tattered and torn. Let's see if we can get ourselves a couple more to end out today's video. So much fun. All right, everyone. In the time it took to rig up another creek bug, that wind has picked up substantially. So I went on ahead and I popped that float back on there. As you guys can see, there's a big log laying out in the hole here. I'm gonna do my best to drift that creek bug by those fish that I've seen tucked underneath there. With that wind blowing, there's no way to jig the lure from up here. It'll just blow a big D in that line. 
and unfortunately just completely kill the action of that lure. So I'm gonna do my best to just drift right by, see if we can't get a bobber down. Just like that. I mean, very first cast as well. This is just a little bitty guy. Didn't expect to see one this size here at Blue Springs, but that's all right, we'll take him. Beautiful little guy, tiny. There we go, technique worked out. He's got a weird little stubby tail, <laughs> very interesting. Let's give him a big fall back in, join his buddies. Heck yes, everyone, plan came together. Got ourselves another trout on that epic little creek bug. We'll try that again, see if we can keep the party going. Immediately, another one. At the exact same spot. Oh, this is a tank. Followed up that little one with an absolute giant. The exact same spot. Wow, gotta go over here to our little spot to land these bigger fish. Slide out here on this old mud shelf. We'll see if we can get this big girl into the net. Gotta love it when a plan comes together, everyone. See if we can bring her across the top of these leaves as well. Right on into the net. There we go. Another super good fish. There we go. A quick pop loose with that barbless hook and that black creek bug. Look at that one, everyone. Wow. So much fun. her take off as well right here take off big girl there she goes back in there strong oh one just ate the float everyone oh we got him had one eat the float and one eat the bait unbelievable that was incredible oh and it is angry Oh wow, that was incredible. All at one time, one ate the bait and one ate the float. On a completely random cast. We've got another fish coming in trying to get the float as we're fighting this one. Oh wow, these fish are super hungry this morning. And that drag is just screaming. That was so epic. I have never seen that in all of my years of trout fishing. I have had some try to eat the float, but never a simultaneous float and lure takedown all at once. Oh, flip that one right out of the net. There we go. Watch those leaves out there. Wow, and another good fish, everyone. That was so incredible quick pop loop we'll take a good look at this little beauty wow that was so awesome we're going to go ahead and kick it back in here as quick as we can 
we'll try to get back over there and catch its buddy pretty good chance we'll get it right away if we can just get that creek bug back into position quickly all right let's get that bug back over there that was so awesome i mean right away i knew it that fish that was with it was so active that took 15 seconds according to the camera Wow, another really good fish. Another fish is trying to eat the float. Unbelievable. What is going on right now? This is so incredible, everyone. There we go. And another fish tried to eat the float as I was fighting this fish. This guy completely tore our old creek bug. Another beautiful, beautiful Blue Springs rainbow trout. Let's go ahead and step it out here as well. Try to get it over the grass. Back into the creek. We'll flip all those leaves out. Get ourselves on another creek bug. And I feel pretty confident we'll be able to get ourselves another one. If only it was legal to have two hooks, I would tie a hook up to that float, no questions asked, and try to get a double for you guys. But here in Virginia, that is illegal. I'm not allowed to do that, but that's all right. I'm still having a ton of fun throwing that black bug at them and watching them lose their minds. Heck yes, everyone. All right, shoot that creek bug over there again. another one again 14 seconds oh and a quick release right there that's the first one that we've lost using that barbless hook but that's okay so far we've had really good numbers getting them to the net so no complaints out of me we'll go ahead reset that depth it's a very shallow over there we'll check that bug it looks good we'll send it back over there again got a wrap in our line there I don't want to cut the camera. I'm going to make this as live as we can for you guys. I'm going to shoot it back over there again. I don't know how many fish are hanging out over there. At least one more. Wow. Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. See if we can get this beauty into the net. What a gorgeous fish. Super dark in color. Very strong fighter. All the way to the net. Let's go ahead and set this big girl free. We'll take a quick look. Look at those colors, everyone incredible let's just set it free right back in there nice and strong heck yes everyone two fish and two casts one gave us a quick release but that's all right we are just slaying these fish i chose to make a random cast into some shallow water and just see what happens while i was standing down here never did i think i would have such incredible and unexpected action back to back to back on that creek bug heck yes everyone Oh, I just had another bite right there. Got it. No way. I think that's five casts in a row in this one spot. Oh, wow. And that fish is taking us way upstream. 
I mean, he is way up there, everyone. Oh, wow. What a fighter. Oh, I can again see multiple fish around it. We must have found an absolute honey hole over here, everyone. Wow, the fight on this fish is just incredible. There we go. Super long. Wow, and aggressive. There we go. Hook just falls out, everyone. Look at that one. Wow, unbelievable. Take off, big girl. Roll over and go that way. Oh, looks like she's rolled her over onto her belly. Have to reach out there and give her the assist. That fish falls so hard. There she goes. Back in there like a rocket, everyone. Unbelievable. I think we're going to end out this video right here. We're going to pick up on part two for you guys. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you are following the channel. If you want to you can hit that bell notification it's just a small bell icon that way when i post the next video you will be you will be notified right away and you'll be able to watch that video but if you enjoyed this episode everyone be sure to smash that like button and as always drop me a comment down below every comment really does help out the channel and i do my best to respond to each and every one of them as you like to get your hands on some of those black bugs you used to catch all of those fish in today's video all you've got to do is click that very first link in the description it'll take you straight to my website be out there if you can everyone and do yourself some fishing and have some fun but most importantly be safe and tight lines and we'll see you right back here for part two